Hello, what's up guys? It is I, Jeltry, and we are back with some more Fire Emblem Awakening Lunatic Classic. Now, last time, we tried to bring our sister Emran to the safety uh wait, wait, wait! <gasps> Yo! <laughs> that threw my entire intro off. Let's just start over. Hello, what's going on guys? It is I, Deltry, and we are back with some more Fire Emblem Awakening Lunatic Classic. Last time, we tried to bring our sister Emran, the exalted ruler of all Elise. To a safe haven for the time being, so that we could deal with the Plegian invaders. However, however, the worst case scenario has come to pass. Plegia has successfully invaded Elise and toppled the capital. This is such a great day. <laughs> Speedwing boys! God bless you, Anna, you beautiful woman. Okay, so I'm gonna buy that, and then and then we can do the rest of our shtick here. Yes, right now. I do not care if I am broke for the rest of the game. I honestly just don't. Thank you so much, Anna. You guys ever just wake up and immediately know it's gonna be a good day? <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. So obviously, at this point, we gotta do our best to keep Emran out of trouble. She's not looking so good these days. She's been saying a lot of really wild stuff. She handed off the fire emblem to us as well. And I gotta say, I'm a little bit disappointed that there's not like a little hidden gameplay detail there, where Krom is now able to bypass all enemy terrain bonuses because he should be, right? Isn't the light sphere still in the fire emblem? So, technically speaking, he should be a little bit better now. A little bit disappointing there, game. Come on, stick to your details. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. That's not really a big deal. But, it, it would have been cool to see Krom become more and more OP as you got more and more of the orbs. Like it should be, because if, if you played New Mystery of the Emblem, for all ten of you, you know that each of the orbs that are placed in the Fire Emblem gives some sort of benefit to the wielder, so like the Light Sphere I think was uh, ignoring terrain bonuses, right? And then there was the Life Sphere which made Mark restore 20 of his health every single turn. The Star Sphere which was super great because it increased all your stats by two. What else was there? There was the Geo Sphere which made everybody around Marth get a crit boost, that'd be pretty cool to see. And there was the Dark Sphere which made you immune to everybody who does not have the Light Sphere. Unfortunately for Marth, everybody got a Meyer brand light sphere after the fact, so it was like, it, it was kind of whatever, really. <laughs> I still don't understand why everybody can still hurt Marth after getting the dark sphere. Makes no sense, man. Stick to your story, goddammit. Anyways, my voice is a little bit off today, so I do apologize if that's incredibly apparent. I have no idea how that could have happened. No idea. It's not like I put strain on this thing on a regular basis or anything, but... <laughs> We're gonna have to make do, unfortunately. Moving right on to the Edelgard fact of the day, apparently. I guess we're doing this now. Abundi says, Tara Plot, Edelgard's new voice actress, also voices Flavi in Awakening. Another character she did, who Edelgard might be similar to in attitude, is... Please don't butcher this, Delta. <laughs> is Mitsuru Kurijo from Persona 3. I have not played Persona 3, but I appreciate the fact. And here's a bonus one for you. And this is true. Here here's two of them, in fact. First of all, Tara Platt is married to Yuri Lewenthal, so there you go. Fun fact. I don't know why all these voice actors and voice actresses seem to all be married to each other. It can't be a coincidence. I guess why not, right? If you both work in the same field, you gotta figure there's something in common right there. But that's not the fun fact. No, no, no. Here's the fun fact. So Tara Platt <laughs> apparently started a film called, and I shit you not, Scarecrow Gone Wild. I have the Wikipedia page open right now. This is 100% true. It is a direct-to-video film from 2004 about a group of college kids who are hunted down by a killer scarecrow. Starring Tara Platt, voice of Edelgard. <laughs> I don't have to do anything to ruin her. You guys said the Muriel voice ruined her. No, 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 no. She was already crazy. In a good, in a good way. I mean that in the most sincere, flattering way. But good God. You can't make this stuff up, man. Oh, gee, if I were Yuri Lewenthal, I would I would bring this up all the time. Hey, babe, remember that time you were in the you were in the film about the killer scarecrow who hunted you down relentlessly? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Nils BT says, "Hey, uh, Deltre, I have a little question, which I really think you should address more clearly. Does liking Nino make me a bad person? Ah, yes. Now this one is actually my fault." So in the last part, I implied that if you like a bad unit, you're actually not a bad person. However, that didn't take into consideration this one exception. This one obvious exception. It's so clearly the truth that I didn't feel like it needed to be stated explicitly. But yes, if you like Nino, what's wrong with you? If you like anybody in her family tree, I would go as far as to say, you must be some sort of truly heinous individual, not capable of common sense or empathy in any sense of the word. 
truly reprehensible. Wait a minute. Mudfin. Mm, success. Let's try another one. Sometimes freedoms of support can hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really think about that, but with a character like Virion, who, like, his whole character revolves around the fact that he's so flirty, right? Uh, yeah, you would think that he would not be able to support with the opposite sex after hitting an S support with somebody, right? Because it seems like almost sort of some kind of infidelity at that point. Maybe they didn't think that one through entirely. But really, the only way I think you could fix that would be to completely rewrite his supports based on whether or not he has an S with somebody or not. So I, I don't know how could they could really avoid doing stuff like that moving forward. Honestly. I mean, obviously you could just have the, uh... <laughs> you could just make it so that everybody can't support everybody. Which I, I really hope that that is the case. I really don't think that it's a good thing to have everybody support everybody. I don't think that it's a bad thing to have more supports necessarily. Definitely not. But I think that there comes a point when it's going to be impossible to have quality supports with every single character like that. When you literally do indeed have everybody supports everybody. Or, or at least when you have it so that everybody of one sex supports everybody of the opposite sex. You can't possibly have that many deep, meaningful, or even just interesting supports. Interesting and unique supports, I should say. Because you could have a support be funny, right? If you take somebody like Virion, I'm sure it's funny to see him getting styled on by all the girls in the game. And getting curved to no end. Okay, that's funny, don't get me wrong. But how many times can you tell the same joke? I mean, really. And I feel like that's a direct result of the fact that everybody can support everybody. Or as opposed to some of the other games in this series where you, you might have joke supports like that, but because it's only with one specific pairing, the joke doesn't feel stale at any point. Not to mention the serious character implications of that whole thing, especially like Mudfan brings up here, somebody like Virion who might be married, still trying to hit on other girls in your army. Doesn't, uh, doesn't bode do well for our Archist of Archer friends, now does it? I actually remember somebody bringing up a similar point in Fire Emblem Fates with Ignatius, where his whole deal is how he sort of lacks confidence in himself, you know? And for the most part, by the end of his support trees, he would start to respect himself a little bit more and act with a little bit more confidence. He would act a little bit more sure of himself. But when you start your next support back to level C, he's, he's back to the beginning, basically. So it kind of undermines a lot of development in that sense, especially if it comes down to characters who are dealing with internal struggles of some kind. So maybe, if anything, they want to try for something more dynamic with the future games. I don't know if that's really possible or not. It's, it certainly would be a lot more work. That's for sure. But there's not really a whole lot you can do to avoid these kind of situations if you're not going to go that route, I feel. And even the old systems weren't perfect. If you look at something like Path of Radiance, it, on paper it's great. On paper it's great, and it's certainly the easiest way to not make these kind of mistakes. But in the game itself, in Path of Radiance, there are still instances of uh, them kind of screwing up the supports. Because I specifically remember getting a support with Ike and Oscar, where they were talking about fighting ravens, or so, it was something like that, something to that effect. Where Ike goes, oh man, these ravens are truly a fearsome enemy, or something like that. But I got the support before actually fighting any ravens. So even a system like that is not perfect. It's it's just going to come down to what the developers decide to do, honestly. And hopefully they're careful enough to avoid situations like this. I'll say that. Proud Warden 874 asks, Deltray, will you be playing Three Houses on your channel? I feel like you've said something like that in an earlier video, but I can't remember. Yes, yes I am. And uh, please do not tell me anything about the game. Please, I'm asking you, don't. I've only seen the very first trailer that was released in 2017? No, 2018, I think it was. The 2018 trailer, last year. It's the only information that I know about the game. It's gonna stay that way. I just, I think it would be better that way. Certainly. I have 100% intentions to actually play it, though. As soon as possible. Like, believe me, I'm gonna be getting that crap day one, don't you worry. And Zenmaster24 says, Yes, Deltre, thanks to this game, you have become the thing you feared most. Fire Emblem Trash! Oh no! It comes for us all, eventually. This game plays you on that front. You know what? No! I resist! I refuse! You can't make me! Oh, it's too late. I've already turned. I've already turned, guys. It's too late for me. Save yourselves while you still can! There's no telling what this game will do to you. We're just gonna do the parallel. I am sorry about that. I just... I don't want to do a, a very long part when I'm not feeling 100%. Hopefully you understand. My lord, 
Oh, my lord, look, risen. Oh, and there's a village just ahead. Come on. Is that it? Seriously? Oh, help, help, open the gates. The dead walk the earth. If you're any kindness and you open the gates. We're from Woodham up the road. You know us. Please open the... Gods, no. No, they're here. Ah! Don't worry, this pot will keep me safe. Right. Why do all the villagers wear pots on their head? Are you trying to tell me something here, game? I just, I just don't know how I feel about this. Why was this game rated again? Huh, the townsfolk of this village are renowned for their hospitality. How can they turn away refugees fearing for their lives? <clears throat> Let's worry about saving those lives first. We can ask questions later. Good mentality, I suppose, but... Okay, so at this point, I realized that I was definitely coming down with something, so... So the remainder of this video was recorded at a later point, so if it sounds different, that would be why. I should have realized that I was coming down with something at the time, but I'm a fool, apparently. <laughs> Anyways, this tangent aside, enjoy. We are back now, though. I wouldn't say 100%, but good enough. Good enough for me. So, uh, hopefully no more awkward cutting. We can at least get two today, like was intended all along, if nothing else. So let's just do that. Hey you, Inverion, what could these two even have to talk about, really? Other than hey you curving this man, obviously. So, if the Cavaliers spread out in a fan, and the Pegasus Knights sweep in from the flank, what would happen if I only had one Pegasus Knight? My Come on, hey you, consistency, we just had a whole rant about this, I'm pretty sure. Goodness, I can practically see smoke rising from your head. Whatever could have you working on such a fevered tilt? Yeah. I'm practicing strategies and scenarios on this game board. After a hundred force marches, these pieces are still ready for more. It saves me from running everyone ragged with training exercises. Yes, yes. yes how very clever. You even carved the enemy forces for them to fight. <laughs> She's a whittler, is she? I'm impressed, and that doesn't happen often. With other people, I mean. Well, as long as I control friend and foe alike, it's not as effective as I'd prefer. After all, I can't plan for the unexpected when I know all the moves ahead of time. Oh, yes. Ah, then permit me to be your opponent. Yes, I, Virion. I shall strike with the nobility of the lion and defend with the grace of the swan, as they are renowned for. <sighs> because swans are good defenders. Thank you for calling this bullshit, hey you. I've never heard of that before. Swans. I don't know, maybe they're very protective of their young. I can see that, perhaps. I, I can think of a few things that would probably be better at defending. I don't know, like a turtle? Maybe that would have been a better analogy. Maybe not the most graceful of all beings, but certainly a lot more defensive. Uh, sorry. Never mind. I accept. So then, we'll take turns moving units until one of us claims the other's commander. Agreed? Agreed and agreed again. Oh, what fun! Wow, this is such a good idea. Perhaps they can make a whole game based on such a concept. Begin, please, by all means. Watch Virion. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hold, I need to retract my last move. Haha. <laughs> See, I was about to say this, and I, I think that that's what they're going to say, isn't it? I was going to say, watch Virion Schooler. He's going to, isn't he? Oh, no, hey, you, what are you doing? You can't lose to Virion. Haha. <laughs> Were that all enemy generals so generous, but alas, this is war. Checkmate, my good lady. Blast. I lost to you? Virion? Oh god! Time for a class change. Tactician no more. Tactician no more. Are you serious, hey you? I do imagine Frederick sitting there in the corners. You mean to tell me that Virion of all people was able to best you at your one job? Yeah, sorry about those five maps where I sent you out there all on your own. I was just kind of winging it, to be honest. I hate to admit it, but I am well and truly beaten by you, Virion. Oh. oh, I told you I was both a lion and a swan, did I not? More like a chicken in the far end of a horse. She just flips the board. This game is bullshit. I'm no noble lord, but your strategy wasn't exactly what I'd call honorable. No. Heavens, heart we plain spoken. At any rate, I appreciate the practice, but I must return for a meeting. Wait. But I barely had time to gloat! <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, all part of the simulation. In actual war, you see, the loser is never present to witness gloating. Oh. No, wait, don't leave, hey you! Let us play again! So, Virion Skulder. <laughs> there, are, there are no words, man. There are no words. I guess... I guess Virion's our new tactician, boys! <laughs> 
It would have been kind of funny if he had it as a reclassing option or something like that. But I get it, it's supposed to be unique. She said he wasn't very honorable though, what did he do? What if he pulls a Schaefer and he's like, oh yes, we just have everybody strapped with babies to their chests. We cannot possibly lose this encounter. Ah, uh, Virion, that's not very ethical. Ethics are for pussies! Hmm, what to do, what to do? Oh, hello, Frederick. Is something wrong? Right. Ah, Samia. Yes, something is wrong. The horse escaped the paddock during the night. I managed to catch it by the brittle. I, I know nothing about horses, so... Forgive me! But the foul beast refuses to be led back. Oh, oh, is that all? Here, let me try. Oh. No, milady, it's too dangerous. The brute is practically frothing at the mouth. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. There, what a nice horsey. Shh, Auntie Sumia won't help you. Er, yeah, Auntie Sumia won't help you. It's time for some horse meat sandwiches. Auntie Sumia won't hurt you, I promise. But if you stay out here, the wolves might get you. Let's go back to your friends. <laughs> By the nine heavens! <laughs> By Great Odin's beard! It's moving! <laughs> we'll be fine, Frederick. I'll make sure this brave guy gets back safe. Always impressive. You have a gift, milady. I thought the creature would die on this very spot. No. Oh, he just needed some encouragement, is all. It's kind of like how you aid and motivate Krom. Humans and horses both need friends to lean on sometimes. So, uh, you can put that gun away. We're not putting him down, right? Yes, of course, milady. I see. Still, you performed a great service, and I'm in your debt. You know oh, me. really? It's not a big. Do not be modest, milady. I might have wrestled that beast all day without you. Yes, possibly. Except, well, the thing is, see, last night I fed the horses. And you know the latch on the last gate? The one you're supposed to close? Well, there's a teensy tiny possibility that I might have left it kind of open. Right. By the gods! So it was you who let this demon beast free! <laughs> Damn it, Frederick! Wow, that was. I was kind of expecting a little bit more there. We're getting down to it. That was the A support. That was the A support. You can kind of see the problem with the whole four conversations into marriage model. Because you get stuff like that. And uh, next one is going to get steamy, don't you worry. Next support, oh yeah. It's straight on down to Bound Town, baby. Uh, barracks, though. Give me some items. Okay, come on, come on, Lisa. No, don't pull any muscles. 22 experience for Lisa, that's good, because she's not coming along. Yes, Krom, what did you buy? A superior bow. I think that's a bow that beats all other bows, right? Alright, let's give this one a shot. You guys know the drill. No animations for the first try here. Or, no animations for the first map here, I should say. We'll bring him back for the next one, though. Now, the biggest issue with this map is saving those damn villagers here. The brain cells live in separate area codes, man. They're not very smart. Makes it really hard to get the neurons firing, because they're going to stand right over here in range of these guys and get murked by these Pegasus Knights in no time flat. So, we need to do something about that, which is why I gave Cordelia this beast killer that I was able to buy off one of the Annas. She can actually one-shot these clowns. Just straight up. The, the bigger issue is actually hitting them. So, I forged it up by five points of accuracy, and I'm hoping that that might help a little bit, but I'm not... It's not the greatest chance in the world. It's really just not. Muriel can kill this guy, though, which is why I gave her a magic tonic, so she can just do like so. Take him out of there. The thing is that... I kind of needed Donald to kill one of these guys over here for me. He's going to kill this mercenary. Or at least that's my theory. So we can have Heyu, who's now decently fast. She can kill this guy. Actually, she can intentionally leave him alive, I should say, because that is a kill for Virion. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. I want to give, give her the wind spell. Anyways, trust me, this will make sense. We want to have, hey, you have the wind spell so that, theoretically, Muriel can get more kills. Namely, these archers. These archers, because otherwise, hey, you will just kill them with any other spell at all, including the fire, I want to say. So, she needs something a little bit weaker. And the wind spell is just about perfect for that. Now we can use Virion and kill this guy. Yeah, blow him away, kid. Tactical master, back at it again. And we're going to use the Silver Lance a little bit here. It's going to hurt a lot. And of course, this guy has the dodge boosting skill, but nothing we can really do. It just happens sometimes. We need to get experience on Donald if he's ever going to promote. And we definitely want him to promote. He gets some sweet gains. Like, don't get me wrong. His stats do not look very good right now, but they get crazy once he gets out of this villager class. Same thing as with Pond, really. The villagers has really bad bases. 
so Cordelia to right there with the beast killer. Oh, that villager actually dodged somehow. <laughs> Crazy. So this is why we wanted the sword on Fred, because Sumia has a good chance to just murder that guy for Frederick, which means obviously we need to be wary in moving forward here. Considering he'll be able to be attacked multiple times and whatnot. So, ooh, Glonku, yes! That's really good. That couldn't be much better. And Cordelia hits her attack. We're in go mode. We can save these villagers. Now that, that knight doesn't one-shot the villager or anything like that, he would have survived. So there was no real need for that dodge. I didn't really think that the villager could dodge, to be honest. They kind of suck. But apparently that knight sucks just a little bit more. Oh wow, I must be trash. Yeah, I must be trash because Frederick should have had a concoction. Why does he not have a concoction? Well, that's fine. That's A-OK. -okay. Because what we can do is we can move right here and give our boy the javelin. Yeah, I mean, that's just as well. We give him the javelin and then heal him with the vulnerary. And that's fine. That's fine. Now, before we move Lanku, we can pair these two and do, like, one of these moves and drop uh, Virion off behind Lanku. Since Lanku did not get hit, and I also gave him a uh, defense tonic, he can still take a hit from this guy. If it comes down to that, obviously I would prefer it not to. But as you can see, Virion is totally safe right there. Now we just gotta watch this guy. And with Donnit, boy, since he actually got D-rank right then, we can move all the way over here, have him take the Beast Killer like so. And he and Cordelia are gonna kill those three Pegasus Knights, theoretically. Yeah, let's do I mean, honestly, using this guy at all is a risk, so what else is new? The only debate here is if I want to send Muriel right or left. I gave Hey You the wind spell specifically so that I could send Muriel to the right. But I think it would be safer to have her on the left. Yeah, actually, I think we do want her on the left. I think we want her on the left because it's going to help finishing this guy off for one. And potentially one of these archers may survive as well. Actually, potentially the mercenary or the archer. Th there could be a lot of things surviving here, basically. So her on the left makes more sense in the long term. Now this guy does no kind of damage. None whatsoever. Get wrecked, kid. Okay, so that helps out a little bit for sure. Lanku gets nailed. Donnie. He does hit. So the thing is, right, with him, he's getting doubled. I'm fairly short. So... Oh. Oh, <laughs> Donald. We gotta win. We have got to win. So yeah, Muriel should come in handy here somewhere. I'm just not sure who she needs to be killing. She can't kill you. Well, actually, it doesn't matter if he lives or not. Because... I can kill him on the next attack. Or, like... You know, you know what I mean. He has to double Muriel to kill her. He doesn't one-shot her. Oh, yes, he does. Why is she so... Oh, my God. Right, so what we need to do then would be one of these moves. Take the steel sword back. We can actually smash this guy. And that's going to block the archer from getting to anywhere that matters. Yeah, as you can see, he can't really go anywhere at all. Which means that if I move one of Donald and or Cordelia to right here... And let's keep it a buck. Who needs the experience more, do you think? So we'll move Donald right there. Use the concoction. He can take this one out, too. Lanku has to move here. I'll equip the Soothing Sword and use the concoction so that that way he'll be able to survive in the future. With the Dell Thunder, we can kill this guy right now. And then Virion plus Muriel can take out this mercenary. Well, yeah, we'll do it like this. We'll do it like this because if Muriel misses, that would be very bad. But she does not, thankfully. Okay, good. So that's how we do this. Virion will probably get a sweet one, master tactician that he is. Oh, no speed, my man. Ugh. <laughs> it's just such an overly important stat in this game. I, I really don't care for that, to be honest. It's always an important stat, don't get me wrong. But in this game, it's like, oh, baby. If you don't got speed, you're nothing. You're nothing, man. All right, Krom, talk to Please, these guys. I insist. Oh, shepherds are always welcome here. Please take this with you. Listen. Listen, there were refugees here and you turned them away. Why? Oh, we're a peaceful town, sir. We have no weapons nor any want for them. So here, take this blessed bow. We survived by bearing our gates to those who might bring us harm, friend or foe. 
Harsh as it may be, I can't have my people dying on account of other folks' problems! <laughs> You're kind of a dick, huh, old man? Yes! And then he gives us a weapon. Of which he has none, supposedly. Alright, Lanku, yes! So we're still in this. We're still in this. We might be able to pull this off. At this point, though, I've just realized Krom really needs to give Heyu a better weapon. Now, that guy does no kind of damage. You can't miss this, Donnie. Okay. <laughs> yes, we got this. We got this. That mercenary cannot possibly reach. Yeah, he can't possibly reach. So. I guess the only real question is, can we kill this guy without intervention from, like, Frederick? I guess the next next question would be, is this guy a threat to Muriel? And the, ex the answer is actually no if they're paired together, right? Yeah, she would have six defense. He has 24 attack, which means Muriel plus Virion together should 1v1 this guy. Theoretically. Yeah. All right, here we go, Muriel. We can take this guy out over the course of a few rounds here, and she'll get herself a level. So, Krom, my man. Oh, God, why? Why? Where are my vulneraries? <laughs> well, it's fine. It's fine. Alita must never rest. Da -da 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 -da. 25 experience for the big C, man. Uh, wait, let's not call him that. <laughs> no, we actually need to send one of Frederick or Sumia down here. If not, then all of this was for nothing. Yeah, if we don't do that, then this was all for naught because... The villagers will get into range of this fighter. Who will then clown them? So, Frederick or Samia, let's just give experience to Samia. So we can do like that. Yeah, we will have Lon Ku take a go at this guy. He's not gonna get hit twice, he may get a crit. He doesn't get the crit, but that's fine. These guys actually cannot one-shot these villagers, so I guess in that sense, in trying to save all three, it's good that this guy did get the dodge right off the bat. And go figure. Unless Cordelia does no damage, never mind. Either way, he cannot one-shot them, which is what matters here. If anything, we can just do like one of these moves, which is going to help us get a concoction over to Heyu. She actually will survive a hit from this guy. From the forest. Just barely, Jesus. But she lives, and that's what matters. So we do like that. Heal her up with the Dell Thunder. Goodbye. The expected outcome, let's be honest. Just barely able to hang on, but we take those. This guy does not die. Muriel does not die. Feel like we're cutting these a little bit close. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Lon Ku can finish this guy out by himself. And presuming that we don't get any strength on him, that means we've won. Now, failing a hit with Muriel here. Cordelia is right there to back up. Yep, we got him. Get out of here. Magic. HP, defense, basically everything. Oh, okay, well, I'm glad we understand each other. <laughs> I love when stuff like that happens, man. That's what she needed, though. Like, don't make any mistakes. I'm not trying to be cute. That's no joke. She actually needed to do that. You think Donald does 10 if he's paired with Krom? I think he does. Ooh, hmm, does Krom give any strength? He actually would give a single point, so there you go. Question number two, do we risk this? <laughs> do we do we even dare? I mean it would be a 74. Well no, Krom gives Krom gives some hit. So if we do like this. E yes, final answer. This is how we want to do it. I'm so sure. Right, take the concoction though, so that hey, you can use that for herself. Take away Donna, boy. Oh God, Krom gets murdered. Krom gets murdered. Well, we're not gonna miss though. Oh no! I shouldn't have risked it. It's my own fault, really. Uh, well, let my failure be a lesson to you all. Don't get greedy, folks. That is the lesson of the day. Uh, damn it, Donald! Hit your attacks. <laughs> Ass! That's my biggest- It's always something with you, hey you! It's always something! Jesus Christ, this guy! This guy right here! 
Yeah, so I realized that if Cordelia doesn't kill the first Pegasus Knight, then Virion can. So that's actually pretty good. Hey, still pretty good. More, more speed on Frederick, though. We take those. Give me a crit. Come on, dude. Where are you at? Yes, defense, Donald boy. And Donald, my boy. Does he even die to this next Peggy? I actually think he doesn't. Is he fast enough? It just depends. No, of course they have speed plus two. And naturally. Mirio! I deserved it. I had it coming. I had it coming though. I can't even like, how can I be mad? How can I be mad when I did it to myself? Jesus, okay. Okay, we're good. We're totally fine. I think. <sighs> Anybody else see that level up on Muriel? You know, the really, really good one that she got the first time, only to be immediately replaced by that awful, trash, unbelievably horrible level up that she just got? I mean, yeah, you could say it's my own fault. You could definitely say that. And you would be 100% correct. But Jesus, man. You hate to see that happen. You really do. Uh, so Virion, probably... Hmm. I mean, I think Lanku has to get the kill, sadly. I think so. No, come on, man. Come on, man! We're about to crit. Yes! Oh. oh, save my bacon, why don't you? Hey, he actually got strength. Which means somebody's gonna die, probably. Uh-oh. That's not very good. I can't believe how bad that level was, Muriel. Come on. Nine defense on the woods. He would need 37 attack. He has 36. Good God. These guys are insane. Like, no lie, this is, this is too much. Just a little bit too much. I should have probably re-equipped her. Yeah, no wonder she took so much damage. But that's fine. Yeah, we just move Krom here. And then we give the concoction over to him. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Saved all the villagers for all their stupid little rewards. I can't remember what they get, but it's not very good. I think one of them literally gives you a log. Like, quite literally a log. That's not like a euphemism for something, it's literally a log. A piece of wood. Oh, you're not gonna attack me. Okay, that's fine too. Sure. Uh, Samia so probably does not die. Why does she nearly one round this guy? Hold up. Hold up, that's pretty scary actually. Wow. Uh, you think that hey, you gets... You think she gets 12 points from just attacking? I think she does. Let's do it. And she does! Cool, level 16. Oh, there's a good one, finally. At least we got something from this train wreck of a fight. You know what? Screw it. I've had about enough of this map. So, Samia, take us home. Yup, <laughs> killer ants not needed. <sighs> Get out of my sight, boy. Here comes another good one, though. Please, please, Samia. Speed? Oh, I just can't do anything right. No, 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 you can't. What's happening? Man, I hate this game. What a garbage game! I've not the words to thank you, nor the treasure to pay you, but here, take this! I didn't think people like you still existed. I'll, I'll never forget this! Maybe if you lay off the pot! Do you suppose this village will continue to bar its gate to refugees? Right. As long as they view the Risen as someone else's problem, then yes. Ah. They claim to love peace, yet the uneasy peace found behind a barricade is nothing I'd want. Peace begins when fighting is over and the barricades come down. I pray they can see the truth of that before it's too late. Some wise words from Frederick. And for saving one, you get the zero bro. For two, a log. And for three, a ladle. Real cute game, real cute. Chapter 8, the Grimly. Let's just get right back into it, honestly. It can't possibly go any worse than that last one, so. Oh, I'd like to believe it's our cunning that got us this far without being spotted. But we've seen far too little of the Plegian Guard. Where are they? Whatever trap Gangrel has planned, he is in a hurry. He is in no hurry to spring it. Well, maybe we should just take this as a sign of good news, Krom. Did you ever think of that? Malord. Always negative with this guy. My lord, our scouts report some manner of engagement downfield. 
Right. Understood. Get everyone ready to move. Right. These desert sands are certain to bog down our units, my lord. Only mages and flyers will likely be able to proceed unhindered. Hmm. Oh, good point. I'll keep it in mind. Hey, you, let's discuss strategy. Ah, uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> you see Virion in the back just glaring at her. Huh. <laughs> I think Virion should be our strategist, honestly. This guy has gotten nothing but good level ups. He beat Heyu in her own game. How bad can he be? So the thing with this map is, as Frederick would sort of imply, lots of desert map, which means flyers and mages are your go-to units. Now, because I had some foresight and realized that Risen loved to show up wherever I need to be, particularly on those shops, that is to say, I bought a resistance tonic in advance so that I could give it to Cordelia right now. Because I looked at this a while ago and realized, hey, look, if I give her a resistance tonic, she can 1v1 these clouds. So that's how Cordelia is getting experience. She's going to be doing some self-improvement, I think. Honestly. Now, the real trick here is not a boy. I'd like to get him to level 10 by the end of this so I can be done, but I don't see that happening. <laughs> On the other hand, if I give him the beast killer, how strong would he need to be? These guys have... Uh, well, we, we would need a total of 44 damage, right? Basically, so... What the beast killer we have. Alright, so if I forge it up by two points, I give him a strength tonic, he can one-shot all of the Cavaliers. Which is exactly what we're about to do. The ladle is worth 25, and a log is also worth 25. Why, oh why, were these our rewards? I don't understand. You'd think it'd be the opposite, if anything. Like, get the Seraph Rope for saving all three, because that's actually kind of tricky. But nope, nope, nope. The game is going to troll you till the end. Ah, oh, yes, the superior bow is plus 50 hit avoid when fighting another bow user. I might save that. I can't decide. Let's give Sumia the Seraph Robe. Yeah, this seems like a good bet to me. All right, let's do our best. Ah, no way. The resident looks like a little girl, but is actually stronger than half your team character. Great. I don't know why Intelligent Systems always has at least one. I don't know what the obsession here is, man. <laughs> I don't normally use no way, I have to be honest, and I'm probably not going to be using her in this playthrough either. I feel like it's already getting pretty tough to find all the experience that I want, so I don't know if uh, adding another person would be really smart, you know what I mean? <sighs> have, have I lost him? I do like Gregor. Awesome guy. Wait, wait, I say. Why are you no comprehending we won? Ah, get away. Everyone just leave me alone. Oi. Oi, please keep down with the voice. You give away position. Very bad. <laughs> my throat is dry. My shoes are full of sand. And some big weirdo is trying to kill me. Good grieving. Oi, you break Gregor's heart. Why you treat like villain? <laughs> I love that guy, though. <laughs> really. <laughs> you there, feed. Keep your hands off that maiden. Huh? Who is Fiend? You mean Gregor? No, no, friend. You have wrong idea. Hey. Yeah, right, creep. What? Oh, this day has been nothing but insults and punches to groin. <laughs> right in the balls. And all for doing good deed. Listen, friend. Gregor only want to. <laughs> Gee, look at this guy. My god. <laughs> These Grim Leo men, they're freaks! Gotcha, you slippery scamp! Prepare for a dose of Grima's wrath! Shallard? Oi, this is most terrible! Do you see now? They make with the catching of us! Hmm? Why are you all after the girl? Nonsense! Oh, what is this all? Gregor is not one of all! Gregor is Gregor, stupid! Look close, maybe you have not seen from so far! Gregor have innocent baby face. <laughs> I don't know how that. Arnold here. That's what he looks like. He looks like if they put Arnold into a Fire Emblem game, you would get this guy. Hmm. I don't know if I buy all that. Well. Yeah. Not sure. Innocent baby is how I'd describe it. God, never be minding. Gregor is not enemy. You must believe. Right. Ah, uh, this is making my head hurt. But I love his accent. <sighs> I guess we'll have to sort it out later. Right now, we need to protect the girl. You're gonna help me. Yes. Yes, we'll do everything in our power to keep you safe. Just hold on until we can reach you, and we'll drive them off. These guys must have incredible voices. Shouting across the entire desert to each other like that. I always like that about Fire Emblem. You don't have to actually be anywhere near each other in order to have a conversation. I, I don't know why you would have that conception, but nope, not the truth. Not the case at all. We need to warn these villages of the danger, but who to send? Best if it's someone who can swiftly move through the sand. 
Not a bad idea, Krom, but that's probably going to be the last thing we do because it's just really not necessary. There's nothing on this map at all that's going to check those villages in any meaningful way. There's nothing at all that can harm them. You can come all the way down here with your boy, Freddy, and hit him with the silver yet again. We're going to dodge toy. Frederick the God. All right, animations, of course. Hello. But with that, we can now come down here with Sumia as well. Two 60s or a 12. The chances of this guy surviving are very slim, and he also has very little chance to actually hit me. Doesn't really matter if he does or doesn't, I just... He's gonna die, most likely, yeah. It was very unlikely for him to survive. Now if he even hits me, it won't matter. Oh, I should have traded off the Silverlands, so that's my own fault. I didn't want to use that, obviously. We could have saved that for something else. And now, yeah, now we only have one use, but it is what it is. We can pair Donald with... The very honorable people to give ourselves enough defense to take a hit from this guy and we actually one shot him thanks to uh, the strength tonic and all of that good stuff as well so he's gonna go down like a chump i have no doubt i can move hey you in there and i'm not sure who this mirabadon will attack perhaps sumia perhaps sumia perhaps hey you it doesn't really matter we're not in range with lissa so that's all well and good Krom can move right about there pan right about there and yeah, Cordelia can 1v1 those guys. Now, Gregor and Noe. Gregor and Noe. I guess we start with Noe. She's just okay. Pretty tanky, all things considered. She's getting most of that from her Dragonstone. So if this breaks, she's utterly useless. They are viable in this game, however, so it's not that big of a concern, all things considered. I guess the bigger issue with her is the fact that she has no speed to speak of, really. And that can be kind of a problem. She's not doubling anything, which is bad for her offense, obviously. It would certainly be a lot better if she could double. She'd be almost decent, if not good, at that point, I want to say, because... For, for the first time in a long time, Manakeets actually have 1 to 2 range. You may have noticed that, you may not have, but I'm pointing it out right now. Manakeets have 1 to 2 range in this game, as opposed to 1 range, which they have at most. So she actually has a fairly solid way of retaliating on just about anything that's not a longbow. She's fairly strong. Fairly strong. Just not too fast. And that's that's a really big issue. It really is. Look at Donnie go. Oh, I don't even get hit. Sweet. You know, missing this guy wouldn't be the end of the world anyway, since, again, we actually don't die. It's just better this way, obviously. More experience. We'll take that steel lance. Cool, cool. But yeah, if I had to say... If I had to sum up Noe's issues in one, in one word, it would be speed. Speed is her biggest issue. Her growths are really good. Naturally. It's awakening. What do you want me to say? Everybody has good growth. Goddamn. Yeah, she gets 10 hit avoid on odd numbers turns. But that's not really that great, all things considered. It's a nice little bonus, I guess. But overall, she's not that much to write home about. Fairly tanky, though, like I say. God, excuse me. Like I said, still not exactly 100%. I do apologize. Uh, really, the only downside with her, though, would be her really, really low starting base HP when it comes to tanking. So that would be something to keep in mind. But other than that... Usable, but not particularly amazing. Mostly, again, because her speed is so low that her offense is sort of compromised in that sense. Gregor, on the other hand, or Gregor, is probably better than... Uh, good God, Sumio. Chill. I'm trying to explain. Uh, Gregor probably better than Lan Ku, though, long term. His base stats are quite good. He's considerably stronger, much tankier. His speed leaves a little bit more to be desired, but he is also level 10 right now, which means if you wanted to, you could instantly promote him into a Bow Knight or a Hero. If you were going to instantly promote him, I'd say probably Bow Knight would be the way, just so you can gimp flyers, potentially. Uh, and they also give movement and a lot of speed on pair up, so that could be something you could do, uh, even if you didn't want to train him necessarily. But if you did want to train him, mercenaries are pretty decent mercenaries are pretty decent obviously he will be promoting into a hero or I should say he has the option to promote the hero which is a pretty good class in awakening because of the soul skill seeing as to how enemy phase is just so so important in this game the fact that he can top himself off easily leaves him pretty durable all things considered of course soul is not 100% by any stretch of the imagination but it is reliable enough to the point that you can count on it going off every once in a while, I would say. Not too big of a risk in that sense. Again, much like everybody else in the entire game, his growth rates are solid enough. I'm just kind of thinking how we're doing this with Cordelia. This guy moved into an awkward position, so we may have to bail. 
Well, honestly, since that fighter went in the opposite direction of everything important, I think that I can just charge with Hayu. Yeah, we can do it like this. And hand Gregor on off to her so that she can double things very easily. Uh, I didn't actually get a chance to heal with Lissa. I wanted to, but nobody got hit, sadly. L like, li literally nobody got hit except for Cordelia. Huh. That's pretty awkward. I can just leave her be. I can leave her right here and just have her heal. So that's exactly what we're going to do. She's going to continue to self-improve. Uh, Lissa can head in because she can... She can heal, obviously. And she'll also be able to ferry somebody through the desert if need be. Uh, just to wrap up with Gregor, though, he's fairly solid, all things considered. Not too much to complain about. Has good starting strength. His starting speed is only okay at 12. If you wanted to, he wouldn't be a terrible unit to give a speed wing to, I would say. All things considered, because if you can get him doubling, then all of a sudden he becomes pretty damn good overall. Yeah, not really worried about Krom here because he three shots this guy. Even though Pond decides not to jump in or help out or do anything useful. <laughs> pretty solid once again, Krom. Pretty solid once again. I'm thinking that I'm just going to try to promote Krom and then have his kid replace him, honestly. I think that's probably the best way to do it. More likely than not. Now, unless Cordelia gets 4 percenter, she should be able to 1v1 these guys. Yeah, I'm thinking that's how this goes down. Now, I should have switched Fred back to... Oh my god, Fred, nice. I should have switched him back to the Steel Sword, though. But I guess we don't have to. I was going to say I should have just for accuracy, but it looks like none of that's needed. Level up for Sumia. Another pretty solid one. Strength and defense, though, would be sweet. Now, hey, you should double thanks to Gregor's help. Unless we get 7%. Wow, that's a lot of crit. Way more than I'm comfortable with. Yeah, Gregor. See, what did I say? What did I say? He's solid, all right. Look at that. Didn't even need to tell him to jump in. He just knew. He just knew. So, yeah, I'm thinking this is pretty much a done deal for these guys. I'm not seeing this going their way. Especially if Irion the Beast is going to dodge that attack. Which means that Lisa can just heal uh, Heyu instead. And since Cordelia still cannot die, she can kite these guys back to the right. Yeah, so that's how we're doing that, for sure. I mean, I guess I could have Muriel do that, but it just makes more sense to have Krom do it, right? Yeah, so Krom knocks this guy out, and he makes his way over to the village. Getting himself another kill in the process. Not too bad, not too bad. Is it worth it, I guess, is the bigger question. Let's do it. Yeah, now we have a 70% chance to land this, which is way, way better. That's way better. Let's go, boy. Good. <laughs> yeah. These are really sketchy, though. I'm not going to lie. I think he needs to kill, like, another one, <laughs> at least. At least one more. Oh, man. Whoever ends up right there is going to have to take two of them. So maybe we switch back to Frederick at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's how we do it. This guy's actually only going to heal up five. No, Muriel kills the Myrmidon. I think. Yeah. Well, either way. No way. Get away from me! Yeah, you heard the lady. So I don't really understand their transformation in this game. It's kind of ridiculous. You just had to get hit there, huh? What in blazes? The girl is a dragon. Yeah, did you see that transformation? She got eaten by a flower. I seriously don't understand. It looks like they're getting devoured or like turning into some kind of plant. Not sure what that has to do with dragons. But uh, that is a mana key for you. In case this is the first Fire Emblem game you've played, traditionally they are draconic in nature. Just like that. I do appreciate the two range though. It's definitely nice. The girl is a dragon. <laughs> By the god, she's a mana key. I never thought I'd see one. Whoa. Hmm, perhaps she doesn't need our help so much as we can use hers. Good observation. How come I didn't get supports? Weird. Do they not have one or something, or... Huh. I mean, I guess I could pair Lisa with Muriel to kill this guy. No, that's worse. That's much worse. Yeah, so Virion finishes you off. Yeah, I just realized that's way worse because I need... I need to do the damage with Frederick. Well, actually, I say that. I could potentially just kill him with Sumia, I think. The reason that I would want to use Frederick here is that, in theory, he wouldn't... He wouldn't kill everything? Well, I'll tell you what we can do. We can unequip Sumia. Like so. Frederick can come at this guy with the steel sword. Then I can trade him away to a hand axe. 
At which point, he will not be killing the incoming Cavalier. Which is potentially two more kills on Donnie Boy. That's about where we're at. Why is Frederick dodging every Mirbadon like it's his job, dude? That's crazy. <laughs> this should not be. Yeah, so Muriel can take a go at this guy. Maybe we hit, maybe we don't. I probably should have given her the wind spell back before this fight. Just so that that could be a little bit more reliable. But now we're going to trade Freddy on over to... Actually, we're going to heal first. Yeah, we'll heal first. Then we will trade Freddy back to a hand axe so that he's not killing the Cavalier that will attack him. At which point, he will survive, allowing us to kill him with somebody, literally anybody else. It just doesn't matter who. Just not... Just not Frederick, man. He doesn't need it at this point. He really just doesn't. And then I guess the only interesting thing I would need to do at that point is have somebody go back and kill that fighter who's been uh, kited to Alan back by Cordelia. Nice, nice, nice. Didn't actually make a difference at that point. She was going to kill regardless. So level up for the red-headed prodigy. Really, really good. Oh my god, so good. I would do all of this and more. Oh, oh, I thought she said I'd do all of this and more to him. What? <laughs> you, you would break him in half? Those girls are busted. Okay, Cordelia. She's kind of a freak, huh? But, regardless of any of that, we definitely take those. I'm strongly considering giving her the energy drop. I am. Even though Sumia is technically the correct choice, I know she is, but... Ooh, if... If Sumia... Uh, if Cordelia wants to grow like that, how can I resist? How can I resist? Easy, easy, easy. You think if I have Donald kill this next guy, kill one more Myrmidon, and then also kill the boss? <laughs> Maybe that would do the trick. I don't know, but he's starting to get good. He's honestly starting to get pretty good. Krom, get the village. What do we got? Thunderation. Oh, God's praise you, good people. God's praise you, one and all. We lives in constant fear of what the Grim Lee will do to us, so does we. Here, take this staff with me blessings. It can fetch distant comrades to safety. Be sure to place it in the hands of one gifted in spells or the like. Magic folks will be able to reach the furthest with it. In fact, magic folks are the only ones that can use it at all, you old man. What's he talking about? Oh yeah, give it to Krom. He seems like he could do it for sure. You know, Sumia, not Sumia, Cordelia might be able to 1v1 this guy as well, but it's a lot riskier and it also takes a lot of my concoction. Well, I'll tell you what, Donald literally cannot die to this cavalier. And I honestly think he can just straight up use the bronze lance, right? So, yeah, he can. So we just do this. And that's another kill for ya boy. Killager indeed. I honestly, like, on my life, I'm going to figure some way to get him to level 10. I really just... I'm so tired of dealing with this subpar guy. I think his wifey would appreciate fighter more, but I always do mercenary because it's straight up a better class. I don't know. I do not know. What I do know is that I can probably send Cordelia down to deal with this guy as well. Although he does have an arc wind, which could probably hurt like hell, huh? Let's see, 18. That puts him up to 29 attack. I mean, I survived very easily. Yeah, I survived very easily. My only real fear there is like a crit, which would <laughs> annihilate me. That would be worst case scenario, though. So we can pair these two. Come all the way down here. I'm actually going to put Muriel in the lead because she moves through the desert for free. Hey, you does not. Uh, no way. Oh, yeah. One other thing about her, I guess. Much like Pawn, she has six movement and not five. Really, this guy isn't going to come. Interesting. So theoretically, these two die, okay. Then... Okay, so this actually could work out, I suppose. We move Hey You here. We'll give her the Del the we'll give her the L wind. And then drop her off right there. And then we can put Gregor with Hey You. Which keeps her from being double. And then we can we can basically just pull back. We can pull back. Frederick is gonna be available on the next move anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. And I think we are good to go. I'm gonna move. I'll move Cordelia just to distract that guy. And I don't want to get too close. I really don't want to get too close. What are they doing? Well, I mean, if you insist, I i mean, I might as well, right? I could take this guy out. More likely than not, Fred can just take him out for me. 
And that'll probably get these guys moving, which is what we need. I can't believe that guy didn't even attack me, though. I was right in his range, and he didn't even attack Cordelia. I think that Pawn plus Krom should 1v1 that guy. No lie. Because Pawn easily doubles with Krom's help. There we go. That's what we wanted. So we do this damage right here. Gregor, no! Come on, dude! What did I say? I wanted to get the kill for Donald! Were you not listening? I guess not. Well... Not sure how we... Not sure how that works. Not sure how that changes things. Although, on the other hand, they're really not going to move, are they? Boy, get out of here with that. Let's see. 24 plus 14. Uh-oh, that's not a kill. Okay, well, that's no issue. We just put Pond here. We put Pond here, and then it's a kill for Virion, basically, which is better. Okay, I guess here's how we do this. Okay, so we move here. We unequip Sumio. Like so. And then we just pop him... We smack him with Papa Frederick. Don't crit, thank you. Finally, 10,000 turns in, he gets hit. But that's, it's too late. It's too late. Here comes Donald. Uh, <laughs> yeah, here comes Donald. I mean, we gotta, yeah, get out of here. So if I have Donald kill this guy, as well as this one fighter, at that point, Yeah, at that point, having him kill the boss will be a level up, I want to say. Level 10, more importantly. So if we do like that... In case I've somehow horribly screwed up, I'm gonna give... Yeah, I'll give Gregor over. Which would've... It, it wouldn't have kept him alive. Because this guy gets plus one damage, he, he'll deal exactly 23. It wouldn't have kept him alive if he would've been in range, but I could've moved no way and taking Gregor that way so that she wouldn't get doubled by this guy. Which would be enough to keep her alive, basically. But we don't have to do any of that. And I would just really like these guys to move. Whoa, that could have been bad. Well, no, because I could have just paired Cordelia, I guess. But I just, I just want these guys to move, man. What's the deal? Yeah, there we go. And then we just need to grab the last villages. Well, I say that. We also need Donald to hit this guy, which he may, he may not. Speaking of may and may not, Krom may jump in, at which point i maybe give him the kill instead. I'm not sure. But I think that I would still rather give it to Virion. Yeah, I want to say that we're going to give it to Virion. He struggles a little bit more, I feel. Krom is going to get enough experience, I'm so sure. If anything, I should have Virion not be using my one and only forge. You know, seems like that could be a good idea. It was a thing of beauty indeed. Alright, so here's the make or break moment. Please, Donnie, don't miss the 80-something man. Yeah, please don't miss the 80-something man. I really don't have time for that, man. Come on now. Good. Yeah! He'll get 78 from the boss, I'm so sure. I, I pray. I pray. His stats are kind of insane now. Yeah, because once he gets out of this class, like I say, he's going to go off. He's going to go off the deep end, dude. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like we're just about at the point where it's not too hard. Not for the time being. Why is Liss in my best tank? Look at this. Look at this girl. Look at her go. Five defense, eight resistance. Hold her back, somebody. So I'm going to move. Uh, I'll, I'll move Sumia in to kill the fighter. Haha, <laughs> you dare defy Grima, god of annihilation. Ha ha, you dare defy, hey you, god of annihilation. It's funny because the joke works. Muriel? No, nope, no Muriel. Ah oh, well. They're they're really not gonna move, so I'm gonna have to slaughter them. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill them. Full stop. Do I even die? Oh, he has an Arquin, so I guess I would. And I do 14. Yeah, so this is how this goes. I move here, I heal her back. We bring back your girl one last time. This is a route map, right? So I have to kill everybody anyways? Yeah, I do. So that's fine. That's A-OK. -okay. I mean, this is a very easy kill for Virion, though. And opportunities like this don't present themselves just every day, you know. My only beef is that if I do this, he's literally gonna have... Oh, man, he might annihilate Virion. Unless I move Cordelia in afterwards and box him in. 
Yeah, yeah! So. Alright, unequip Frederick. Yeah, we just unequip Frederick. Move Samia right here. Throw the jabbies at this guy. I mean, I guess if we miss, this is awful. Like, as in, could not be worse if I miss a 91. But we don't, so that's good. There goes my jabby. Get the kill with Virion. And another level up for you, boy. You already know it's going to be pretty good. I guarantee. And if anything, I can take Frederick with Cordelia, right? Yup. 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 <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, I take Frederick with Cordelia, at which point she two rounds this guy easily. And Sumia's not really getting much of anything from that guy at this point anyways. Since she's not going to be the target here, you know what I mean? It's going to be Cordelia, without a doubt. I guarantee. So, all we need to do is basically just wait. Honestly, I could kill this guy with Donnie right now. Um, my only fear is that the map might end, though. And I wouldn't get the treasure, so... In the off chance that that happens, I'm just going to end the turn. Because, like, Frederick could dual attack or something, you know. And that would kind of screw this up. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Oh, God, don't crit. Thank you. Muriel didn't get to do anything on this map, really. That is such a shame. Such a shame. I might have to forge her up the Elwyn. Yeah, I might have to try that. Because then she can at least one-shot Wyverns. Which would keep her in the game a little bit, I want to say. So now Donnie skewers this guy. 100% of the time. Well, 99% of the time he skewers this guy. And this better take you up to level 10, man. I've had enough of this. Master Grima, my life force is yours. No! Boy. No, no, no. That's not how this is happening. Oh, but he might die to damn old... Dang it, Virion. Virion's gonna kill him. Unless I take his weapon, which I'm going to. Nope, I've had enough of this unpromoted Donald crap. I've had enough. Yep. Oh no, they attack Cordelia, why? Oh, but of course, the, the effective damage. Oh, god damn it, no. No! <laughs> I needed those treasure! Why didn't I unequip her? I'm so bad. I'll be back. Jesus! She's so good! Eh, yeah, pretty decent. Good enough for me, man. Okay, Cordelia! Ah. I mean, it was basically the same level up, let's be honest. It was more or less the same thing. Yes, Donald! At least Muriel can get some more kills. I hope. I pray. Oh, Lisa, nice. Nice, more magic. Ah, so much worse. So if it wasn't apparent, what I wanted to do was have Donald kill this guy. Which would have been enough for the last level that he needs. And, uh, yeah, we would have been having a great old time. But, uh, not meant to be, apparently. Not meant to be at all. So instead, as slow and steady it is. I mean, I guess sends me back this way. I don't know, man. <sighs> I definitely want these treasures, though. They're both very good, as I remember. You have our thanks for the warning. Please take this. It's my family's treasure. I would offer more if only I could. Fellow with enough experience could use it to grow even stronger. And the Master Seal, which is going directly to hate you. And in this one, we get Donnie's item. Thank the gods. Really, you'll help protect the village. This little dung heap. Goodness, you're so kind. I suppose I should give you a little something, eh? Here, someone with enough, ex someone with enough experience could use this to start a new life. It's like running off to join the circus troupe. But more classy-like. Well, not exactly. Certainly gonna turn into a circus once Donnie Boy gets his hands on that, I'll say that. The second seal, which allows you to class change into a new class if you are at least level 10. Which is why I've been trying to level up Donnie so much anyways, because I need him out of villager, it's just that bad. <sighs> oh, she was talking about Bantu! Whoa, I just caught that. Yeah, you see that? She said she met a dragon named Banter or Bonte or something like that. She's talking about Bantu. He's still alive, dude. I thought the old man was dead. Are you serious? That's crazy. 
Bantu's like the the OG of OG dragons, pretty much. At least that's as I remember him. Wow, <laughs> there, there was a reference I didn't expect to see. See, that's what I'm talking about with Awakening, though. They just throw in all these little references like that. So, did they ever address that directly, though? I can't help but wonder. Like, is there a support somewhere where Noe's like, Oh yeah, Bantu's alive, by the way. Or is it only... Huh. That was neat, though. I, I like little details like that. You can really tell that they thought this was going to be the last one, so they just they just threw in everything, man. Everything possible. Speaking of everything possible, let's get that last little bit of experience, because she is promoting right after this. And I, I mean, I guess I have to use the Beast Killer. Donald, don't miss. Thank you. Cool, we're done. Master Grima, my life was... There! <laughs> That's what should have happened the first time. Well, he's doing pretty well. I feel like he did better the first time, though. And I, I also beat the map way faster the first time. Way faster the first time. But alas. It's worth it. I need Donnie at level 10. I do not care. He should have been there by now. I just feel like too many dual attacks and things like that kind of prevented him from getting every kill he possibly could have. Especially on those thieves. Thieves give, uh, thieves give bonus experience in this game, by the way. So they get more than usual experience. So yeah, he probably didn't need this level of babying if RNG would have been a little bit kinder to your boy. But finally it's over. The game has been won. The Killager is here. The Killager is now. This is the worst day ever. Good grieving. Oh, now we won. Do not make with the crying of tears. The evil people are now dead. This is good, no? <laughs> You're right. I love killing. Thank you. And I'm sorry I was so mean to you earlier. I just got nervous around people who are outside my age group. What? Your age group? Ha! Huh. Yeah, I'm like 7,000 years old. Oh, Gregor much closer to your age than others here. He's not wrong. Listen. Uh, say, Gregor, was it? Gregor, do you mind looking after her? We need to press on. Hmm. Hmm, Gregor is mercenary, yes. Maybe you hire Gregor instead. True, Gregor just finished killing former employers, but still very reliable, probably. Yeah, he's not making a very good case for himself. I don't know, I don't think I would be too keen on hiring somebody who literally just slaughtered the people who were signing his checks. I don't know. In fairness, he has a good reason and everything, but it's like, mm, <laughs> Doesn't exactly instill confidence. So long as you not try to hurt the little girl, Gregor will not hurt you. Also, Gregor needs some steady income. He in between jobs right now. Many, many angry former employers. Really? You're a sell sword. <laughs> yes, very swell sword. Cost performance very high. You have Gregor's word. Right. Sure, why not? Sure, we, we're just taking everybody these days. Why not? You're hired. <gasps> but what about me? I won't go back to the auction block. Huh? Wait, you've been sold? Like... Like a slave? <sighs> to men more despicable than you can possibly imagine. They made me transform for them. They drank and laughed and called out tricks. <sighs> what kind of scumbags buy and sell a little girl? She, even if she can turn into a dragon. <laughs> I don't know, sounds like a good party trick if you ask me, but... She may be little, milady, but not nearly so young as you might think. Manichaeans live a very long time. Huh? Really? How old are you? Huh? Oh, I don't know. A thousand something? But look, no wrinkles. <laughs> well, the dragonkin are said to be more resilient than men. No, it would make a strong ally. Besides, we cannot risk your falling back into the hands of the Grim Leal. Huh? Beg pardon, but who are the Grim Leal? Ah, ah, the followers of the fell dragon Grima, the self-same dragon in the first XL defeated a thousand years ago. Even today, there are some who yearn for the fiend's return. I see. I see. Listen. Well, shall we get some rest? We're almost at the Plagian capital. We'll need all our strength soon enough. Aye, aye, Flavia. And with that, we have recruited an awesome mercenary dude and a little girl. Oh, speed tonics! Finally! Why? Why does it take this long? <laughs> Jesus Christ game! Anyways, with that out of the way, I think we are going to call it here. Would have been a lot smoother this time if not for my own incompetence, really. Taking those risks with Donald Boy. Yeah, it turned out to not be such a great idea after all, but... Seeing as to how he's level 10, I suppose we can end with this. With the second seal and the level 10 Donny boy, we now have the option of making him really, really good. Look at these stats. 
Look at these stats. Either of these potential classes are very, very good. I almost want to go with Fighter because, well, he gives a lot of strength if we do that. Four strength, in fact. And that could be very useful for somebody. But he'd still give some strength as a mercenary. Not nearly as good. But Donald also has this thing about him where he gets... He gets, like, a 100% chance to save uses on weapons eventually. Meaning that if you give him a really powerful forged weapon, and you've taken him through mercenary, the forge will never break. Because Donald has that much luck. He just straight up has 50 luck. Which gives you a 100% success rate with that particular skill. But you do need to go through mercenary. It's not enough to promote the hero, you will not get the skill that way. So I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is that we've recruited God, basically. Look at these stats. But needless to say, it's going to be very different next time. Same with Heyu. Same with Heyu. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. We're going to do hers right now. We're going to do hers right now. I'm so sure I want to promote her. So at long last, 16 levels of mediocrity later, and one incredibly lucky speed wing, Heyu is now finally broken out the game. Let's go! Class change. Grandmaster! Good game. Time to start building up some experience. Yeah, you didn't have 16 levels of that! And with that, she gets a large boost to her stats, set back to level 1. And uh, it's gonna be a great old time! Oh yeah. Oh yes, I do believe so. Anyhow, for the time being, that's gonna do it for me. So, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like rating. Helps me out. Let me know your thoughts as well, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you then. Peace.